welcome back to 2K Universe Mode, and we were supposed to be kicking off this episode of NWA USA with a six-man tag match with Imperium vs United Empire, but uh, Imperium were attacked backstage moments before we went on the air, and are not currently cleared to compete, they're being checked over, and Volta, the ring general, has essentially said he'll do it alone. So this has now become a handicap match, it's Volta taking on the Empire. So yeah, we've seen the Empire do pretty scummy things in the past and team up on people. There he is, Will Ospreay, he tried to attack Volta on NWA Power earlier this week after Volta's match. He was, uh, thankfully for Volta, unsuccessful in his uh, attack to do much damage, but here tonight, I mean, all the cards are in his favour. He's got three men taking on Volta. So here we go, we got Aussie Open. And Volta uh, did a little bit of a, a gesture towards the corner to indicate he is in fact alone during this match, but he's not intimidated by the Empire. And he's cleared Kyle Fletcher out of the ring. Just to taunt at Will Ospreay. It would be incredible for Volta to pick up a win here tonight. And this is quite ironic because... Uh, Volta has been in a very similar situation as this before, but it was actually him and Imperium that had the advantage. I believe it was in their feud with Austin Theory? I think? It was some point earlier in the season, it was either Austin Theory or it could have been Pete Dunne! Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, Imperium had the free man advantage. And Volta's now getting a taste of his own medicine, going after Kyle Fletcher. And uh, we're going to be hearing later on tonight from Karrion Cross, who lost the NWA USA Championship to Pete Dunne, successfully defended that against Ilya Dragunov, recruiting him into the Empire. Later on tonight, we're going to find out why Karrion Cross is not using his rematch clause, at least yet. That rematch clause is still valid for quite some time. And uh, apparently Karrion Cross has been guaranteed a match at NWA Starcade in return for holding off on that rematch clause. But we don't know who against, and that's that's the interesting thing. Mark Davis being the one to bring a little bit more power towards Volta here. But Volta fighting him back, fighting him off, and uh, yeah, Mark Davis got a little bit more height on Volta. Aussie Open have really been uh, Will Ospreay's kind of lackeys since they made their debut. They were unfortunately unsuccessful against FTR a few weeks ago. So they, they haven't really gotten their, their foothold in the tag division, but we don't know where they're going to stand with the next season coming up. Oh my god, and a big boot from Volta to Davis, wiping him out, and Volta has been on top of things for the majority of this match, and whenever he gets the opportunity to, he turns his attention to Will Ospreay. Oh my god, we just saw a punch there from Ospreay, and Volta has got Fletcher tangled up in that corner. Oh my god. That's one way to stop Davis from making the tag. Holy shit. Volta is on fire right now. Oh, and a clothesline wipes out Davis. And down goes Osprey. Good grief. Volta is on fire right now. Oh, catches Davis, but Davis catches him back. And a hammerlock suplex. Oh, a bit of a... An arm toss, I guess. I don't really know what it would be. Oh my god, and here's the strength of Davis that we saw before. Oh my god! And a tag made to the kingpin. Osprey is now the legal man. We are seeing a preview of Starcade right now. And Volta is straight on the offense. 
Straight on the offense, like a shark smelling blood. And he's going after the Empire. Attacking both members of Aussie Open, but Osprey now taking advantage of uh, the distraction. Oh, good grief. Looking for a butterfly suplex, and he hits it, getting some, some distance on that one. And as Volta started to get a little bit more off in, uh, offense in there, Osprey makes the tag. Oh, look at Volta looking at Osprey. Fletcher is back in. Like I said, the lackeys of Osprey. Just in there to take a beating from Volta in the hopes that they can try and wear down Volta before Starcade. Fletcher just wearing away the limbs of Volta and a tag made back to Osprey. Oh my god, and a cheap shot to the chin. Look at him targeting the legs. Osprey's not stupid. Oh, and neither's Volta. A massive clothesline. Turns Osprey inside out. And Volta going for the powerbomb. And he hits it on Osprey. Holy shit. And that could be the future of Osprey's title run. Come Starcade and look at Volta just tearing apart the Empire. Oh, and Fletcher fights back. Oh my god. Oh my god, Volta is just a madman right now. Oh, look at Osprey. Osprey with the jabs. Oh, and he blocks the kick. Volta blocking the kick. Oh, and hits him with a clothesline. Volta hit Osprey with a clothesline. And going again for another powerbomb. But Osprey, with the with the punches, getting out of there. And Volta's blocking him at every opportunity. Look at that dodge out of the way and a quick strike to the lower back from Osprey. Oh, went for the Oz cutter. Oh my god, and Volta almost lost his foot in there. Oh, look at this combination. The numbers game is too much for Volta. And a tag made back to Fletcher. Oh, and Fletcher wriggles out of that suplex position, launching Volta into the German suplex. Good grief. Oh, and he caught him in the that Japanese arm drag. Very nice there from Fletcher. And Fletcher sends Volta to the outside of the ring now. Oh my god! And hits him with a splash. And Volta's back to his feet before Fletcher is. Oh, look at those knees! Look at those knee strikes! Oh, that is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Oh my god, bouncing him off the table there. Look at Volta dismantling Aussie Open. While Osprey watches, uncertain as to get involved, and Volta's gonna make him get involved. Oh, <laughs> he's dismantling every member of this team. We might need to get more members of Aussie Open, uh, of United Empire out here. To try and even the odds, because I still think that this is too much for the Empire to handle. How is Osprey supposed to deal with Volta on his own? Come Starcade. Uh oh, uh oh, Volta ran straight into the kick. And Osprey hit him with a Stormbreaker. Oh my god, and Volta with the kick out. Oh, and immediately into the Cyclone kick. Overkill there with a springboard moonsault. Look at Osprey pop it off, and there's a clothesline by Volta. I don't know if he got all of it. I don't know if he got all of it, but he looks like he's running off of adrenaline right now. Oh my god, and he went for a... <laughs> he went for something and dodged... <laughs> dodged Osprey and went for Davis instead. Good grief. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Where in the world is Osprey going? Oh, double foot stomp. Oh, Volta's up. 
Big boot! Big boot to Osprey! Holy shit! And where's he taking Osprey? Suplex position. Osprey wriggles out of it. Drops him into the German. Oh my god, and springing back to his feet! Back elbow! To Volta! Oh! Hidden blade! Volta's down! One! Two! Oh! oh my god. Oh my god. A hidden blade to Volta, and Volta's still in this thing. Oh my god! <laughs> Volta turning his attention to Mark Davis on the outside! Oh my god, and Davis has been busted open. <laughs> now going after Fletcher. Trying to outmaneuver Osprey and targeting Aussie Open. United Empire are really struggling to put down Volta. Every single time they think they've got a little bit of a foothold against the ring general. He just springs back into action. And look at him now. Throwing around Davis. Holy shit. And Osprey gets thrown off of the ring. And he's pursuing Osprey on the outside. Noah kick to Fletcher. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looking to put Davis away. Oh my god. And a powerbomb. Davis is down to, oh my god, and a kick out, Volta unsuccessful again, what is it going to take for one of these men to just give up, that's, that's what we're waiting for at this point, either Volta needs to give in or the Empire needs to retreat. And now Davis. After that cheap shot from Osprey, looking to put away the ring general. Oh, and a clothesline! A clothesline turns Davis inside out. And, oh my, Fletcher, Fletcher again. Oh, showing resiliency. Oh, and Osprey saw it coming. Osprey saw it coming. Oh, oh my god, he's caught Davis. He's caught Davis in the submission. And Davis is out! Davis is out! Osprey couldn't get in the ring! Walters won! Osprey not happy with that decision. He was trying to distract the referee, trying to get into the ring to break up that submission. The referee turned around and called it instantly. He saw Davis out on his feet. Volta has won. Oh my god, and um, we're cutting now to. I don't know if a match was supposed to happen, but there was, I guess, a brawl that has spewed from the back. <laughs> and Bianca Belair has Rhea Ripley now in a submission hold. The two were, the two were brawling backstage, and it has spewed towards the ring. Oh my god, Ripley's got... Ripley's got a weapon. Oh my god, and Belair slapping it out of her hands. We don't know who started the fight, but uh, <laughs> I guess we're going to find out who's going to finish it. Holy shit. These two women just can't stay away from each other. All season they've been feuding now. This has been insane. Oh my god. The sound of that kendo stick. Off of the body of Bel Air. Oh god. And Rhea Ripley. Trying to come out on top of this situation. And Bel Air trying her best to fight fight against it. And remember, Shayna Baszler is the one that's been trying to get her way into the number one contendership position at NWA Starcade. But Rhea Ripley clearly making her presence known. It's going to be interesting to see what William Regal does to try and come to a, a mutual decision here. Will we see Ripley facing Baszler? 
Oh my god, what is Ripley doing? Oh god! A powerbomb on the steel! And Rhea Ripley launching Bel Air into those lights. Those Minitron lights on the stage. Holy shit. And look at this brawl. We're going to need to get security to come break this up. This is ridiculous. Oh, God. Look at these clotheslines targeting the neck. We need security out here quick. So after a very brief ad break and separating those two women, uh, Karrion Cross, um, he's got a match here tonight and we've got confirmation on his match for Starcade. He's calling out a legend. He wants a legend of wrestling to come out and face him at Starcade. I don't know if he is expecting somebody later on tonight to make an appearance. If he's expecting somebody before Starcade, at Starcade, I have no idea. But he wants a legend. He has said he wants to go through a legend of the business and carve himself into the Mount Rushmore of wrestling. And Cross is going to be taking on a man that uh, needs redemption, needs revenge. The former national champion lost the championship to Chris Jericho and was injured in that match. And then when he came back, he was attacked by Trent Seven, who has been on a little bit of a rampage as of late. Uh, mostly just causing havoc, trying to get himself a position at Starcade. But what kind of condition does that put Austin Fury in? Karrion Cross, Austin Fury for the first time, might not be the last time either, since both of these men have really come into their own this season. Austin Fury, former world champion, former double champion, the first double champion of universe mode in fact. It was incredibly impressive, where he actually beat Volta, but then unfortunately lost the belts. <laughs> Um, but it was it was hard times for him, hard times, uh, both uh, in a metaphorical sense and a literal sense. Oh, 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 he tried to lift up Cross, but Cross went for a lariat, and oh my god, he, Fury's caught him into the body slam. And look at the, the assault on Cross. So yeah, Cross wants a legend, a legend of the business. Who is it going to be? I don't know, I don't know when we're going to find out. <laughs> we might just see Karrion Cross in regular matches for the next few weeks until this legend makes an appearance at the pay-per-view. Uh, or the legend could make an appearance within those few weeks. We shall have to just wait and see. As I've mentioned before though, with these superstars, it isn't just about Starcade. It's about next season. It's about carving yourself a position getting high up in the rankings, favoured by William Regal. It would be fantastic for Fury to pick up a win against somebody like Karrion Cross going into next season so that he can be an early contender for whoever wins the championship. He's already got the bragging rights over Volta. And he has beaten Will Ospreay. Austin Fury is a bona fide main eventer at this point. He's just having trouble getting back into the swing of things after the interaction with Chris Jericho. And he goes for the pinfall on Cross, and Cross with a kick out after, after one. Dodging out the way of that standing moonsault. And Scarlet threw the chair into the ring, referee telling him not to use it, and Cross agreeing. Doesn't want to lose by disqualification, that would be a massive shame. And that chair almost got used there accidentally by Austin Fury. Oh my god! And Cross tackling down Fury. But Cross can't use that chair while the referee's looking. Otherwise, again, he's going to get disqualified. Oh! Fury caught him with a quick chop there. 
caught him off guard. It looked like a backhanded chop to the face. And look at Scarlet. Scarlet with the distraction to Fury. Oh my god, and the Doomsday Saito to Fury. Holy shit. And now turning Fury over. Trying to get him away from the ropes, but <laughs> Fury's crawling. Now targeting the leg. The leg of Fury. Fury looks like a wounded animal right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Middle of the ring. The cross jacket. Middle of the ring. Oh my god. Look at Cross. Cinching in the submission hold. Looking to knock out Austin Fury. Fury trying his hardest here to fight out of it. Fury in these submission holds, man. He's really struggling. But he manages to break out of the cross jacket. Oh my god. And dodging the roundhouse kick. Oh god. He's taking up Cross into the German! Uh oh, uh oh, look at Fury! With the Ataxia! Ataxia to Cross! Oh my god, and Carrion Cross with the kick out! Holy shit! That would have been a humongous loss for Carrion Cross. And Austin Fury said no to Scarlet's attempt at a distraction. But it was enough for Cross to get back in this thing just for a second. Oh my god. And catching him again into the Doomsday Saito. And Cross calling Fury to his feet. Lurching around Fury and catching him again in the submission. Fury struggling now, he's taken more damage, he's been in it once already, and Fury taps out. Carrion Cross with a win there, a pretty big win against a superstar like Austin Fury, but again, you've got to wonder what condition was Fury in entering that match. Who will Carrion Cross face at Starcade? And it looks like we're about to find out who Carrion Cross is going to face. That's right. It's The Undertaker. I was not expecting to find out so soon. But the dead man is here. He will step in to an NWA ring at Starcade to face the hitman, the killer, Carrion Cross. We last saw The Undertaker back at WWE's WrestleMania where he faced Alistair Black to keep his undefeated streak going. It never ended in universe mode and The Undertaker has now declared he will answer Carrion Cross's open challenge. And in tonight's main event position, the women are running wild. Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. I don't know why Shayna Baszler's music's playing for Ronda Rousey's entrance. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, but even though Charlotte Flair's out of action, she's not going to be completely missing. She's actually challenged Ronda Rousey. Um, Ronda Rousey has said, you know, we can't fight, but give me, give me a superstar and I will fight them. And Charlotte Flair's, okay, I'm going to give you the best challenge you've had all season. I don't know what connections Charlotte Flair has had to pull for this, but Rousey's going to accept this challenge and Charlotte Flair has brought in EO. Shirai. Anybody that knows the women's wrestling scene will know that Io Shirai is a force to be reckoned with. 
and I think it's very fitting moving into the next season possibly seeing a new regular face on the roster. I would love to see Io Shirai as a regular. Ronda Rousey, Io Shirai been running, uh, not <laughs> Io Shirai, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler been running rough shot of the women's division here on the NWA for the past few weeks and unfortunately both unsuccessful at the Elimination Chamber but Shayna Baszler has been picking up a series of very very valuable singles wins. Look at Rousey with a hip toss there. Trying to slow down Io Shirai who right off the bat has come in here with a head full of a head full of steam. Going at 100 miles per hour against Rousey and Rousey, Rousey really has had to slow her down. That gut wrench there. You see Charlotte Flair at ringside. I'm assuming this is some sort of uh, <laughs> paid agreement because Io Shirai is not under contract. She's actually been wrestling in stardom. I don't believe we've uh, actually seen Io Shirai in universe mode. If we have, it's been a very brief appearance. Oh my god, we may have seen her in like a, a women's tournament in the past. But she's taken the fight to Rousey. She's been one of the most prevalent female wrestlers outside of the NWA. Whereas Ronda Rousey's been one of the most prevalent inside of the NWA. Charlotte Flair with a distraction there to Rousey. Imagine if Io Shirai could pick up a win against Rousey in her debut. How incredible would that be? And I think we, we might end up having another Power Rumble at the start of next season. I would be quite interested to see one of those and hopefully Io Shirai could appear in that. Women all around the wrestling world can appear again. And hopefully we can have multiple power rumbles, because I don't think we've had a men's one yet. No, we did. We had one with Dijakovic. Of course, I forgot about Dijakovic. <laughs> oh, that one's just been pushed to the back of my mind. Yo, Shirai sending Rousey into the corner, but Rousey with a quick elbow jab to the chin of, Sh chin of Shirai. And I'll look at grounding her down. Targeting the arm. Rousey has got to be fuming. She got down to the final two in the elimination chamber. There's the Piper's pit to Shirai. And Shirai is on her back. She looks like she's out of it. But no. There's the kick out. Could have been playing a little bit of possum there. To make Rousey a little bit more overconfident. On dodging out of the way. But like I was saying, Rousey got to the final two in that Elimination Chamber, and Bianca Belair beat her. The women's division has been so amazing as of late. It has been the standout. And it's going to be interesting to see what William Regal decides regarding the championship match at Starcade. Will we see another triple threat? And look at Rousey. Rousey with the armbar. Armbar on Shirai. Shirai's going to try and stay in this. But Rousey's sinking in the armbar. Right in the middle of the ring. Shirai's got nowhere to go. And she's trying to wriggle free. Twisting back around and look at those jabs. Jabs to the face from Shirai. Trying to stay alive in this match. Oh my god. And despite that arm being heavily damaged, Shirai is popping off with adrenaline. And I have no idea <laughs> when Charlotte Flair did it, but she's slipped a chair into the ring. Oh my god. Shirai trying to stay on top of Rousey. What's she doing with that chair? <laughs> Making me nervous with that chair, that's what she's doing. What is she going for? Taking Rousey to the top turnbuckle now. Referee's moving that chair. Oh my god, a big slap. Shirai's going up. Oh my god. Oh, Spanish fly! 
Spanish fly from EO. Holy shit. Oh my god, EO just sprung to the top turnbuckle. Oh my god, and a moonsault to Rousey. One, two. Oh god, and Rousey kicked out. EO Shirai devastated there. <laughs> she looked at the other turnbuckle and said, I'm going to go again. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, she hit it to the back of Rousey. Shirai going for the pin. One, two. And she's done it. Io Shirai just pinned Ronda Rousey. What a win. What an incredible win. The bragging rights for Charlotte Flair. And my god. The position this puts Io Shirai in.